What is going on guys, we're here. It's a new weekend, it's a new episode. Uh, we're not in my garage this time, funny enough. We're here in Tate's garage, he's here. He doesn't have a mic on right now. I did buy separate mics so that uh, the audio is a little bit better because as I've been editing, I've noticed the audio quality kind of meh. I have this one right here kind of hidden behind my coat. So it looks a little bit better. So hopefully the audio is good. If not, I'll re-record this. But what we're doing today, I told you guys in the last episode, I said we might do something fun with one of Tate's cars. Well, that's what we're doing today. Um, we are doing something fun with one of Tate's cars and that being we're gonna buy the car. So we just have to clean his garage out we're gonna go to Home Depot. We've gotta find some hooks to hang these bikes up on the wall because he has too many bikes. Two that have gas, two that don't have gas. That one is supposed to have a battery, but it doesn't, it doesn't have a battery. Anyways, we're gonna find something to try to hang these on the wall. Until then, we're just gonna go to Home Depot. We're gonna try to find this stuff out. And then when, uh, when we get word on this car, I'll let you guys know what it is. It's gonna be a little bit of a secret. So I'll catch you guys up when we get to Home Depot and we start buying these hooks. All right, guys, we are back from Home Depot. We went and we grabbed some food, grabbed some Sonic, and now we're back in Tate's garage. Basically, what we were doing is we were gonna try to use his truck. Actually, we were gonna try to use a U-Haul truck, but U-Haul doesn't have any trucks available. Then we were gonna try to use his truck, but then we couldn't get a trailer. Uh, and then it turns out the shop that has it is the cousin of the guy that Tate's buying it from, so he's just gonna go ahead and deliver it to us. So we're really just waiting for him to get down here from Amarillo before we can do that. So in the meantime, we're doing stuff with little electric bikes. So that one's a little dirt bike. This one's a little scooter. Uh, I actually have one back home. I upgraded the battery and the control module. So it's a little fast, but the batteries in mine were still good when I used it. Um, so we're taking the batteries out of mine. And we're gonna throw it in this little pink one because the pink one is way more comfortable to ride. And we're gonna go ahead and hopefully that'll work. So. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep doing that. And then I will let you guys know when it's up and running and we'll try to rip it around. All right, we're here, it happened. The, uh, the BMW is here. I'm gonna show you guys that here in just a second. It is a 1994 BMW 318i. So 1.8 liter, four cylinder, slow, but it's not made to be fast. She is got a rattle can paint job, as you guys can see, um, but that's not really what we're looking for. We're not looking for nice, we're just looking for drivable. And it's sort of drivable. I mean, it, it rolls, it, it runs. Uh, we were actually told by the guy that dropped it off that it does run, it just needs one little thing. Um, the transfer pump has a little nipple for the fuel hose to go onto, and that nipple broke. So I'll show you guys that here right now. So here is the transfer pump, and there's supposed to be a little nipple right there. That nipple broke. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure something out to try to get it going right in there. And then uh, this hose just connects and all that does is it transfers it over here to that where the fuel pump is. It, it has like two different tanks. They call it a saddle tank. Um, so we just need to fix that little nipple. And then we're gonna try to start it tonight. And in theory, it should run. So we're gonna hope that we didn't get skimped on that. Um, but right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open the trunk. It's got a whole bunch of extra parts laying around. So we're gonna lay all the parts out and see exactly what we have and what can go on and I will get with you guys when we find out what kind of parts we got. One week later. What is going on guys? This is gonna be kind of a part two to the other one. I didn't upload last night because I really didn't record a lot last weekend. So this is like a part two just to make the episode longer than four whole minutes. So we're back here in my garage. We got the BMW running. I'm gonna have Tate give you a rundown of what we have here. Tate, what do we have sitting in my garage? A BMW. Um, so it's a 94 318i, uh, just the basic four cylinder, and it runs now. So we're just gonna throw on some maintenance parts and see what happens. What are we doing to it? What's the maintenance? Um, just spark plugs and coil pack. 
All right. And the stupid crankshaft sensor. Oh yeah, crank position sensor. Yeah, that thing sucks, but yeah. Yeah, so crankshaft position sensor is on the bottom of the block, right by the crankshaft. It's pretty self-explanatory, but the Allen bolt, because we Germans, we use Allen bolts for some reason, it's stripped because it's an Allen bolt and it sucks. So we're gonna have to drill it out and use an easy out. In theory, it shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I had to do that for a bolt that was on my cylinder head and I had never used an easy out in my life. So we'll just have to see how it goes, but we've got it pulled in the garage. We've got the garage closed because it is stupid windy. Again, welcome to Texas. And uh, we just wanna get this done. And then we might do a little bit of spicy exhaust, but we're gonna have to see. So I'll, uh, we'll get a hyperlapse going, we'll get this thing jacked up and we'll try getting it rocking and rolling. So I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, we're back. So we got under the front of it to try to do that crankshaft position sensor. And it just, BMW, being BMW, decided to put it in a very terrible spot that we can't even get a drill into the old hole to try to drill, or the old bolt, to try to drill that and get an easy out. And and it's, it's a whole thing. That's what we were trying to do. So fortunately, we don't actually think that that was bad. It was just something we were gonna do anyways while we had the car up. Uh, I mean, we've started it up. Hell, he drove it here and it was fine. So we got the plugs and the coil replaced. We're gonna try to see, you know, drive around for a week or so and see how that works. If not, then we'll, we'll go back to the drawing board on the CPS. But we are gonna start on spicy exhaust. So I will head back here and show you kind of what we're doing. Tate's under here. He is unbolting the muffler. BMW makes the muffler super easy to unbolt. He unbolted uh, that flange back there already. You guys can see it. And we're just gonna drop that. So he, he's got an idea for like a nice exhaust system that he wants, but until the funds become available, nobody wants to drive around with stock exhaust because that, that's lame. So we're just gonna take this off and we're just gonna pop that second resonator out and then weld a piece of pipe in between it and then take the muffler off and weld something there. So stock piping and really stock cat and resonator and everything are still gonna be on, but it's gonna give it something so you're not driving around like a, like a weirdo with a stock exhaust. That, nobody wants that. So he's dropping that right now. We're gonna get it off, measure the pipe. I think it's two inch, but we're gonna measure it anyways and then head to O'Reilly's and grab some piping and come back here, turn the welder on and get it going. So I'll catch you guys up when we get to uh, welding this stuff. So here we are. We've got the spicy boom tubes um, and the welds don't look great. They're not perfect. We had to do a little bit of a bend right there, you guys can see, but it's ready. Now that part isn't done yet. And that is purely because we still need to do like, uh, we're gonna test and see, I have this uh, NVIDIA muffler. We're gonna see if a BMW four cylinder sounds good with an NVIDIA. If it does, 
screw it, we'll weld it on there. If it doesn't, we're just gonna throw a tube on there and just do a, a blast pipe out. So, but we're just waiting for this to cool down before we hold it back up there and start touching it. So I just wanted to update you guys. Spicy tubes are ready. They're about to go on and I'll let you guys hear it when it's ready. All right, Tate, what did we do? Exhaust. Yeah, we did. Oh, nice key. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. We're gonna start it up. And remember, this is not welded on. We are just doing a sound test to see if this muffler will sound good. And then we'll uh, weld an extension on there and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get it going, so. Give her a little bit of a rev. Well, she definitely sounds and smells like a four banger, but not, it's really not in a terrible way. So we're gonna go ahead and measure how much of an extension we need, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the extension going. So let's go ahead and do that, and then we'll, uh, We'll try it out. Actually, you know what? Slip that muffler off. Let's just see what it sounds like straight piped. We'll just, just for the hell of it, why not? It was either this or straight piped and we didn't even sound, or we didn't even hear straight piped, so. Yeah, let's go. It's a little raspy. Definitely a lot louder, but probably gonna have a lot of really disgusting drone on the highway that's just gonna sound terrible, so. I think the muffler is, I think having the muffler on there is gonna keep it down pretty good. And I mean, hell, that's only with one resonator and one muffler gone. There's still like one more resonator and a cat on there. So that's pretty dang loud. So I guess BMW did something, right? <laughs> so we'll go ahead and we'll uh, measure the extension and get it going. And then we'll, uh, we'll get this bad boy on the ground and drive her around. All right, guys, and that is it. So we got the BMW straight piped. We went ahead and we took them to get washed. I didn't do any B-rolls of that. You know how much I love doing that, but the car wash we went to, like the nozzle was broken and it wasn't great. I mean, actually I'll show you right here. Um, it got it clean. It got all the dust off, except for like, you know, there. And it didn't even, you know, that stuff was kind of caked on cause it got wet from something else. And you can see the streaks. It just wasn't great. It just was not a good car wash experience. But I mean, I got most of the dust off, so I'm all right with that. That, you know, that helped a little bit. So, but that's gonna go ahead and that's gonna end this off for this week. So we've got plenty of stuff planned for next week, a little bit with my car, a little bit with the BMW. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, go ahead and share this with your friends. Like I said, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of summer or by the end of the year. We're just I always forget, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers. That's what I'm gonna say right here. Um, I think we've got a car meet planned for next week as well. Um, someone posted about one on Friday night. So, I mean, I usually don't start the vlog until Saturday, but yeah, we'll have to see, uh, let's check that out on Friday. Um, it might be terrible, it might be a good meet. So, you guys be the judge of that when we get there. So, anyways, hopefully you guys like this one and I'll see you guys on the next episode.